الله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ومن يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا مضل له ومن يرشد له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله لا نبي بعده اللهم صل على Brothers and sisters, today's Tukba will be focused around patience and perseverance. I've chosen this topic not only because that, uh, because the theme of this Nabiyon conference is rising from the fall, but also because I believe we are in a state where we often feel that we are confronted with uh, obstacles, whether it is examinations, our meeting deadlines, or any or handling any problems in when I experience a uh, period of stress or misfortune, I often remind myself stories of the prophets. I'm most certain uh, many of us have been familiarized with the story of Prophet Ayyub Salam. The story of how a wealthy man possessing large farms and valuable property had everything taken away from him. He stole his livestock, he started becoming poor. The wealth that was once plenty vanished. Despite this, he remained faithful to Allah without a thing. Most people will give up their speech. This even before mentioning the, uh, that, at some, uh, that at some later stage, Prophet Ayyub started suffering from a skin condition, uh, which led to people deserving him. This went on for years until he was at an extremely poor state. He prayed. And mention Ayub when he told his Lord. Indeed, adversity has touched me, and you are the most merciful of the person. So we responded to him and removed what affected him of adversity. And we gave him back to his family and lack thereof with them as proceed from us. From us and a reminder for the worshippers of Allah. Surah al verse number 8. Stories like these show the extent of which uh, patience can reach. In Surah Musilat, verse number 34 and 35, Allah has stated, ولا تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة ادفع بالذي هي الأحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة عداوة كأنه ولي حكيم وما يلقاها إلا الذين صبروا وما يلقاها إلا ذو حظ عظيم And not equal are the good deed and the bad. Repel the evil by that deed which is better. And thereupon the one who between you and him is will become as though he was the devoted friend. But none is granted it, except those who are patient, and none is granted except one having a great portion of faith. This is one of the 19 times the word sabr, patience, is mentioned in the Quran, which is nearly one for every surah in the Quran, of which there are 114. This simply shows how important patience is in Allah's eyes. As one scholar put it, Al-Iman and Sinfani, Fadisman fi Sotrin, Fadisman fi Shuk. Iman, faith, is of two halves. Half is patience, Sotrin, and half is being thankful, Shuk. Allah loves patience because it reflects the depth of our faith in Him above all of us. We often forget to consider what lies ahead when caught in the moment and say, Why is this happening? But ask yourself, how many times have you struggled through hard times? To discover days, weeks, months, years later, the true purpose or value of those times. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ajaban li amrin minna akratu wa 
law khairu wa laysa dhalika li ahadin illa lil mu'minin in asabatu as-sarra wa as-sabra fa kana khairan lak wa in asabatu darra wa as-sabra fa kana khairan lak Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says How wonderful is the case of a believer There's good for him in everything and it applies only to him If prosperity attends him, it expresses gratitude to Allah and that is good for him If adversity befalls him, he endures it patiently and that is better for him We do not know when we will be tested how will we be tested or how severe the test will be or how long the test will last. We do know one thing, is that what will we be tested on? Our possessions and our personal lives. The problems may seem minor and short-lived, or in some cases, the problems seem, seem so huge, so difficult, so long, that we feel we cannot bear it any longer. However, Allah Azza wa Jalla reminded, reminds us that even though He is tested us, and even though the problem we are facing uh, with seems unbearable, we receive tremendous amount of hope and courage from the following verse in Al-Baqarah, verse number 288. Allah does not charge the soul except with that within its capacity. Brothers and sisters, let us ask Allah to show us the right way and ask for forgiveness. Aqulu qawli hadha. فاستغفر الله الذي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد. With many of us living in the first place here, let me leave you with one final hadith, one final thing from our Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم: من خرج في صلاة الأمي وهو في سبيل الله حتى يرجع. رواه رواه الترمذي. The Messenger of Allah said, He who goes forth in search of knowledge is considered as struggling in the cause of Allah. He returns. If you are to take one thing from this book, I ask you all to continue persevering in your service. Continue going forwards with any obstacles you face. Stay strong and have patience. Brothers and sisters, I ask Allah to grant us patience. Ask Allah to grant us patience. Ask Allah to grant us patience. Ya Allah, we ask you to relieve the suffering of all those who are under the oppression and to heal those who are sick. And to help us uh, in gaining a part of your knowledge in our studies and to use that knowledge for the benefit of all of his creations. Allah, please guide our first steps to the right path and forgive us our mistakes and shortcomings. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad wa ala 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 Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا إلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وصلى الله على نبينا نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بسلام إلى يوم الدين. وآخر الدعوات